Welcome to Scholomatics. So today we are going to be talking about um, finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 square matrix. So let's take this for example. Let's take a 2 by 2 matrix for example. We have 2. Its elements are 2, 4, 3, and 1. To find the determinant of this matrix, that would be 2 multiplied by 1, sub um, minus 4 multiplied by 3. So we have 2 multiplied by 1 minus 3 multiplied by 4 so we have 2 minus 12 and this one 2 minus 12 that's minus 10 so 2 minus 12 is minus 10 so the determinant of this um 2 by 2 matrix is um, minus 10 so we can't do the same thing for the 3 by 3 matrix we have here so the easiest way and the fastest way to solve or um, to find the terminal of a 3 by 3 matrix is by using the Saros rule. So how do we use the Saros rule? To use the Saros rule, the first thing we are going to do is to list out all the elements um, in the matrix. We have 3, 2, minus 1, minus 4, 1, 3, 6, minus 1, 5. Then we add the two columns we add it to the elements we have 3 2 minus 1 minus 4 1 3 so the three last columns yeah we add the negative sign to the top so you are going to know why we are adding the signs here later so the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to start um, taking the diagonals. So the first diagonal will be the. You are going to look at the first um, uh, element here. That is three. The first element here in the row and the column. The first element is three. So we draw diagonal downward. So you have to arrange your um, these elements. You have to arrange them well, so that you won't make mistake when drawing the diagonal. So we have diagonals. The diagonals move from three to one to five, downward like that. Then the next element on that row, we have minus 4, moves downward. We have 6. So uh, we can't have any other diagonal with three elements again. So the next, we have, okay, now from the bottom, from here, from the left um, downward corner, from down left corner whichever we have minus one here so the diagonal is going to move upward let me use another color so it moves from minus one it moves upward then the next element at the bottom we have three then the next so we have no other diagonal so how do you apply this arrow to you so what we are going to do is that we are going to multiply the elements in the diagonal and so the ones um, facing downward the diagonal is going downward from the um, top left um, corner to the right to the downward right corner we are going to add we are going to multiply the elements then add them together then we the ones going upward from the down left corner to the right top corner we are going to also multiply them they subtract them from each other that's why we have the negative signs on top of the one moving upward so let's let me illustrate that so we have three multiplied by one by five plus minus four multiplied by minus one multiplied by minus 1 plus 6 you are not adding minus because now we are using the diagonals going downward so you are not adding the negative um, sign on top so we have 6 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 so now that we have though now that we have the some of the elements going moving downward so the next thing is to multiply the ones on um, the diagonal moving upward 
so now we start adding the negative sign the negative sign on top here negative signs here we start adding them before the multiplication of this sum um, that the elements of this diagonal so we have minus don't forget that you are not to add them to the element itself so minus and minus one multiplied by one multiplied by six you don't add them to, you don't add the sign to the um you don't add the negative sign to the element minus three multiplied by minus one multiplied by three minus five multiplied by two multiplied by minus four so when we solve this so solving this we have from um, 3 times 1 times 5 we have 15 minus 4 times minus 1 times minus 1 we have from um, minus 4 6 times 2 times 3 we have 36 plus 36 minus 1 times 1 times 6 so we have minus 6 but we have the negative sign before the minus 6 so we have plus 6 3 times minus 1 times 3 we have minus 9 the negative sign before the minus 9 we have plus 9 5 times 2 times minus 4 we have 40 so the negative sign if we have minus 40 the negative sign before the minus 40 we have plus 40 so when we sum this up we have 15 minus 4 plus 6 plus 6 plus 9 plus 40 we have 102 so the determinant of this 3x3 three three matrix, don't forget to give me a like and if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.